Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Pat. In today's video, I'm going to show you a few tricks that you can implement in order to rank higher on the Google Map Pack, right? So the whole purpose behind the Google Map Pack is you want to show up in these top three listings because these are the ones that are going to get the most calls, the more leads, right? So we want to make sure that we optimize our GMB the best as possible. You can see that I have my client right here ranking number one in the city that they're located in. And the next step is to reach out to, you know, uh, the bigger city in our area, which is Dallas, right? So the first thing you do want to do whenever you're trying to either one, establish yourself in a city or go into a new city, a nearby city is to check out the competition, right? Now, the best way you want to do this um, without Google using your IP address is go over to a website that is called uh, so if you Google bright local SERP checker it should be the first one that comes up and this tool lets you search for whatever term and it will use that IP address right so you don't get any mixed results so let's go ahead and type in my term and then let's put the city that we want to target. And then you either have the option of choosing, you know, the organic search or Google Maps. For this purpose, I'm going to go ahead and click Google Maps. Let's go ahead and click click search result. And then you're going to get the different pages, right? Let's go ahead and choose page one. And let's see. Now we get the top options on the first page right and you can see that it's using the ip address if we were targeting uh if we were in dallas texas right to give us the best possible results so we want to take a look at these and i'm gonna go ahead and do living well dallas looks like they have a good amount of reviews and looks like you know they know what they're doing or they're paying someone right so what we want to do then is we know which one we want to do research on. Let me see if I can find it again. Okay, so this is the one that we're going to do a quick competitor analysis, right? And the first and probably the most important thing is you wanna find out what categories these guys are using because Google's already ranking them in those top positions, right? So what we can do is, you know, you can take a few of these top ranking uh, positions and see what categories they're doing. For this example, I want to go ahead and do this one. And what you want to do is you first want to go over to Google Maps. So you want to go into Google Maps, right? And then you want to type in the exact name of the competitor. And once it comes up, you can see right here, it has the main category, which is holistic medicine practitioner. What you can do is you want to highlight this and then copy it. So make sure you copy this. Let's go ahead and copy. And then on the right side of it, right click and click view page source. And then we want to hit control F and let's go ahead and paste that in there. All right, now what you wanna do is we're going to scan through the source code in order to find their other categories, right? Because you can list multiple categories on your Google My Business and we wanna make sure we know exactly what our competitors are using. If they're using, you know, one are they using three are they using five are they using ten we want to make sure we make a note of all of this so that we can implement it for ourselves right so if we go down one we can see right here it has the name of our competitor and then it has their main category right here and then if we continue going we can see they have another category that says alternative medicine practitioner they have internist life coach marriage counselor nutritionist, psychiatrist, and I don't even know how to say that one, but there you go. I would have never thought of some of these such as life coach, marriage counselor. Um, so these are kind of new to me and I'm going to make a note of these, right? We wanna make sure that if our client, you know, can provide one of these categories, we wanna make sure that we list them out, right? Now, let's go back. So you can go ahead and do this, you know, with you know, probably the top five competitors that you find on your 
Google Maps, right? So just go through here and do the same technique. So we can go ahead and try to do it with this guy. Let's copy that. Let's go back to our map. Let's find his listing. Same thing, highlight it, copy, and view page source. Let's go ahead and hit Control F and paste that in there. And we should see his categories right here. You can see it has the name of his Google My Business, his main listing, and then he also has Herbalist, Naturopathic Practitioner, and it looks like that is it. So we do want to make a note of this one, right? So Herbalist would be another category to make a new note of. So that's pretty much how you go in there and find these categories. Like I said, categories is a very important uh, signal whenever you know Google's trying to show the most relevant category for that specific search, right? So very important to do it here. Go ahead and take the top five competitors, see what they're using, and apply those same categories for yourself. So now that we did some competitor research, the next thing that you do want to do is you want to build out your Google map. So if you go ahead and type in Google My Maps, it should be the first listing to pop up. So go ahead and click on this. And what you can do here is you can create your own map on Google, right? So what you would do is you would create, create a new map and then this would take you into somewhere like this. Now I already have an example, so let me bring that up. All right, so what you would do is pretty much create a pin. So you would create, you know, your main pin wherever you are located. And I have the name of the company and then I just went ahead and included a keyword in there. And then I just included the same information that I have on my Google My Business, right? And you can add pretty much as much as you want. I just went ahead and added as much information from my Google My Business as possible. And you can go ahead and save it. And if I click on my listing, you can see that we added a picture that we also have on our Google My Business. We have a video, a YouTube video. Very important if your client does have a YouTube video um, to add that in there, right? And then you can also add more of the company. I added, you know, links to our Facebook pages, Instagram, YouTube, and then I have a Yelp and I linked back to our Google My Business right here. And we have our main website right here. So this is very important guys, include as much information as you can in here. It's really going to give you that relevancy boost on the Google Map Pack. And then once you finish this, you also want to create these different direction guides, right? And you kind of want to surround your listing from different areas, right? So go ahead and find different areas around your listing and create a direction by going right here. You would just add a direction and then type in, you know, whatever area you want this to appear from, right? And then after you finish that guys, what you would do here is go ahead and open this up and you would click on embed on my site. And then you can copy this code and actually embed this map on your actual website, right? So that's pretty much it for this guys. And you do wanna make sure that you make this public. And the way you do that is go to share and make sure that you have it to where anyone on the internet can view this link, right? Very important to have this guys, very important. And of course we all know that citations are very important when it comes to local rankings, right? Especially for Google My Business. So if you go over to white spark uh, slash best citations by category, it can actually, it will actually give you the best citations for so many different categories, right? Since I'm going to look for, you know, doctors, let's go ahead and click on that. And it will give you the best citations for doctors, right? This is literally giving you all of the top citations that you need to make sure that your client is listed on. And it even gives you other pages that you could possibly get other backlinks from, right? 
you could even take a look through these and see if they accept any guest post uh, and you can write an article for them right so this is a very useful tool guys and it literally gives you pretty much any category and you can do this in Canada UK Australia right so go ahead and check this out guys completely free and it literally gives you the top citations that you need to be listed on for your category right and then you can go over to somewhere like Fiverr if you don't want to do this yourself you can go in here and look for you know business citations USA you can go ahead and click any of these sellers send them that list and make sure that they give you the logins and you're gonna be good to go right this is very cheap to do you can see it starts at five dollars right so make sure you pick one that you trust and you're gonna be good to go and the last tip that I have for you guys is to embed this map on different platforms right like web 2.0s you want to make sure you can spread your map on as many websites as possible and you can do this also on Fiverr so if you type in Google map you can see right here I will do 200 live Google map citation for local SEO I will do 350 Google map citation I will embed your Google maps in 3000 web 2.0 sites right so make sure you get one of these services and send them your link and make sure they embed this on many different websites right so that's pretty much all the tips that i have for you guys today make sure you like comment subscribe for more of these step-by-step -step videos right thanks for all the love guys let's hit 300 subs by this week much appreciated guys i'll see you guys in the next one peace